Hi everyone, it's Cindy Royal with the web design class and I'm going to talk to you now about the things you need to do to get started with web design. In order to make an HTML page, you have to use a text editor. And the text editor doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be a simple program like TextEdit or Notepad that records text. It can't have any rich text associated with it. So you can use TextEdit, but I'm also going to show you a different option in a second. If you want to use TextEdit, it's a really good option. Everybody has it on their Mac. But you have to do a couple things first to be able to get rid of the rich text in TextEdit. When you open up a new page, so File New, in TextEdit, if you see these little flags and what looks like a ruler up here at the top with the numbers, you know that you're in some sort of a rich text document. So we have to fix that. So you go under Text Edit, Preferences, and under New Document, change that to Plain Text. And under Open and Save, you want to display HTML files as HTML instead of formatted text. You can also check this one, but that doesn't really affect what we're doing because we're not using RTF files. Then back at New Document, this is kind of a new area in Text Edit. There's a lot of smart things in TextEdit, and we don't want any smart things. We want a very dumb document that only shows text, plain text. So we have to turn off any of these checks that have anything to do with smart copy, smart quotes, smart dashes, and smart links. And don't click Restore All Defaul Defaults because that will restore all the defaults, which we don't want. Just close the red dot to get out of Preferences. Now this document is still here, so close it and then do a File, New, and you should see a brand new document that doesn't have any of those numbers or the ruler or the flags across the top. So that will work, but you have to do all those things before you get started. You can add another option if you'd like, and it's one that I like to use because there's certain benefits for using one of these HTML editors. And I use Text Wrangler. It works on the Mac. And if you have a PC at home, you might, might want to download something else, Notepad++. There are others. I've tried Komodo Edit. And there's a whole slew of other HTML editors that you can try. But um, I will recommend if you have a Mac to download Text Wrangler. So you would click the Download button, get it downloaded onto your computer. And when you start to use it, it just looks like a plain HTML page. So you'll want to get that going and have that ready so we can start typing HTML. Um, a few other things that you need to know before we get started is how we're going to save pages. When you, when you have something on this document, you're going to want to save it. And you should save frequently so obviously you don't lose some of your work. So if we do a File, Save As, you can come over here. If your computer looks like this when you do a save, Click on this little triangle so you can see all the options for saving. You can actually see everything on your computer and have the most flexibility for saving. So that you can come over here and you can pick which folder you'd like to save it in and you can give it the name that you want to give it. In this case, I'm going to call it index.html, which may be my home page of my site. And I'm going to save it in the folder that I have selected. Make sure you give it a .html extension. Extensions are very important on the web. It lets the browser know what kind of file it's opening. So make sure you give it a .html extension, whether you're using Text Wrangler or Text Edit to do this. So I'm going to save this. And now I know exactly where I've saved it. Also notice that I didn't include any spaces or any capital letters in my file names. Those kinds of things cause problems for the web and they may cause troubleshooting problems when you're trying to figure out why something doesn't work. It may be because you used a capital letter and you thought you used a lowercase or vice versa, or you thought you had included a space in the file name. And then as I said, just pay attention to where you are saving things. You have to be very, very careful with that. Another thing that you need to be careful about is opening files. Quite often we will just double click on a file on our desktop. Here's a picture that I have here. If I double clicked on that, the computer is just going to decide which program it's going to use to open it. It could be Photoshop, it could be Preview, it could be any number of um, programs that will open JPG files. Same thing with HTML files. There are several programs that we are going to use that will open HTML files. Text Wrangler, Text Edit, 
your browser. So you have to be very deliberate in how you tell the computer to open it. Um, so there's two ways to do that. You can open the program and then just do a file, open, and select the file and find it in um, the folder that you're using. So in this case, the one that I was just working on, I went to New Handouts and I clicked on index.html and I would open it that way. The other way to do it is if you're finding in your finder or maybe on your desktop, you come over here and I will find that folder New Handouts, which I believe is in my web design folder. Let me find it here. And I'll find the file and I can do a control click or a right click if you have a mouse with a button and I can say open with and then it tells me all the different programs I can use to open it. So I could pick Text Wrangler here or if I wanted to also open it in a browser I could choose Chrome or Firefox. So uh, the other thing is when you are working on an HTML page you're going to have your text editor open, so either Text Wrangler or Text Edit. In this case, let's use Text Wrangler for class. And you're also going to have a browser open because we're going to open the files locally in the browser. They won't be on the web until we publish them, but we can actually view them and see what they look like in the browser. And to open a file in the browser, you may not have ever done this before, you just say File, Open File. And just like you would open a file in any other program, you would find it here and you would be able to open that file. Now there's not really anything going on in this index.html page. We haven't done any coding in it, but it's right here and it's ready for me to start coding HTML and then going back and forth and viewing it in the browser. And that's what we'll start with in the next video. We'll talk about the basic HTML tags that you will need to start a web page.